The return of a seasonal favourite. This is the first Smithfields Christmas meat auction since the pandemic. We would like to keep our customers happy. Free COVID prices. But COVID infections are rising again, with one in 24 people in England and Scotland likely to have tested positive for coronavirus in mid-December. It's why the Harris family will be keeping a watchful eye on the situation while enjoying their Christmas. How worried are you about rising COVID infections? Well, we've got young children anyway, so I think we're exposed to most germs all the time anyway. So, I mean, we just be as careful as we can, but, I mean, we've got to live our lives. Yeah, if they get past a certain point, then I think, yeah, I think uh, we take our lead from the government, rightly or wrongly. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, we'll just play it out this week and see how it goes. The Omicron variant is still the most dominant COVID strain in circulation here. But one of its sub-variants, called JN1, has this week been classified by the World Health Organization as a variant of interest because of its rapid spread around the world. COVID is still surprising us, and I think it is that unpredictability that means we do have to be particularly cautious and not be complacent. This virus is not done with us yet, and it hasn't settled into a predictable pattern. And that's why we just need to be a bit careful. Of course, with shorter, colder winter days, the transmission of any virus will be greater, especially with more mixing and socialising indoors. All trends, unfortunately, are upwards, including hospital admissions. And this could be a particularly challenging time for the NHS. Three days of junior doctor strikes have just ended. But with an unprecedented six more consecutive days of industrial action planned for the beginning of January, any surge in COVID hospitalizations would be a hammer blow. If COVID, if flu continues to grow, and that uh, is happening at the same time as the junior doctor strike uh, in January, then there is no question that patient safety is going to be compromised. <laughs> For now, the situation remains stable. But, as we've learned, nothing about COVID is predictable or straightforward. Things can change very quickly. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.